My name is Christina Barbier, and I am the co-president of the Workplace Volunteer Council, which sponsors the Fill a Backpack, Fill a Need, which I am the 2019 chair of. I also work at Deluxe Corporation, where I'm an executive assistant. In 2004, our son Spencer passed away at the age of three and a half. I was totally devastated and lost, as you would expect, and I couldn't understand how um, I kept waking up because it felt like I didn't have oxygen. And so I turned my pain to helping others and got involved with many charitable efforts. I work a lot with children and the input that I give them and what they tell me back is, you know, they only see their today. And I try to make it very clear to them that, you know, this is a moment in time and their tomorrow could be whatever they'd like it to be. My name is Mona Fox. I'm uh, Chief Operating Officer of Cornerstone Advisors. Find an organization that you're passionate about and get involved. I have found the rewards to be tenfold what the work I put in. And believe me, I've put in a lot of work on some organizations over the years, but I've gotten so much back. Um, the connections you make um, with other people in the, or in the community, but especially other women, and the sense of pride that you have in your community. A mentor early on said to me when I was talking about, you know, maybe I don't have time to get involved, I don't have expertise in that area, I don't have interest, and, and he said, well, if not you, who? So it does take um, everyone who possibly can help an effort to, to get involved. So I say to those people who are up and coming in their careers or maybe moving to Wausau, if not you, who? It's, it's your turn to give back, it's your turn to get involved and the rewards will be countless. I am Amber Gober. I am a mortgage funder at People State Bank. It's what I feel most passionate about. For me, it's helping with the youth and helping with women in our community, um, both for personal reasons, for my background, and for the fact that now I have kids and want to be able to help them and their peers grow as well. If I'm going to ask somebody to do something, I'll do it first so that they can see how I personally do it, but then actually have them do it and put their own twist on it so that they feel comfortable and make it their own. Really go after your passion and if you're doing what you love it doesn't feel like you're working so if you truly want to be successful in something make sure it's something that you love doing. My name is Linda Hackbarth. I'm the Human Resources Officer at Bone and Joint Clinic where I've been employed for about six years. Working in human resources and in healthcare, it's a service position, so I naturally serve others. And the majority of staff in healthcare are female. When you look at the, the workforce, even in our organization, the majority are female. So I naturally have been able to impact the female population just because of that, that, that mix. And I started volunteering for Junior Achievement. And that was amazing. I absolutely loved giving back and teaching the kids more about ethics and business acumen and how to be successful, how to apply for a position, what employees are looking for, and getting back into the schools where my kids actually went to school, that was really rewarding. I always tell people, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. My name is Michelle Phillips. I am an online women's health and fitness coach. I work for a company called Balance 365 Life, and I'm also the founder of Fearlessly You. Um, coaching. It's a body image coaching program. Anyone who is out there just defying the norms and saying, this is me, this is who I am, and I'm not going to let what someone thinks I should be stop me from enjoying life and playing with my kids and just reaching my dreams. The biggest successes are when women can come to me and say that they're, they're doing things that they've been waiting for or they're finally getting on the floor to play with their kids. They're, they're not sitting there waiting for life to happen. They're not sitting there demanding that they are up at five o'clock in the morning and beating themselves up all the time because they're not getting in a workout or they're not eating perfectly. They're, they're freeing themselves of this weight that they've carried on their shoulders their whole lives that they need to be smaller and that they need to be just picture perfect. They're changing on the inside. To me, those are the biggest success stories. My name is Shereen Seward. I'm the editor and publisher of Wausau Pilot and Review, and I'm also the host of Route 51 on Wisconsin Public Radio.
As a journalist, I think that uh, it's important to tell the city stories, to in hold government officials accountable for their actions, um, and to applaud the people who have done really good things in town. One of the initiatives that we have now, the Humans of Wausau program, Project, uh, really showcases ordinary people and their extraordinary lives. Everybody has extraordinary lives in some way, and I think it's important to tell those stories too. You look at journalism as a whole, and it is a male-dominated field. 38% of the bylines in newspaper are, are women. It's very similar for radio voices as well. So bringing that female perspective and a female voice into um, a leadership role in journalism is really important. But it's also, I think, important for the younger generation, for the next generation of journalists to know that they can succeed in this kind of business.